Hey guys, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring, and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with some parallel sides, and they've said to us in the quadrilateral ABCD, they've specifically told us that AB is parallel to DC. So they've already marked that on AB and DC, so that's really kind of them. And they've said to us, complete the table below. So again, they're easing you into this question, they're already giving you the reasons, and they've said to you, that B1 is equal to some sort of angle, okay? So let's see, they've said to us that corresponding angles and AB is parallel to DC. So what do we know about corresponding angles? That is our F. So let's have a look. B1 is over there, okay? So what type of F is shown? We can see the F that's there. And when we've got the F and a corresponding angle, we know that B1 would equal C. Do you see the upside down F that's turned around? That is why B1 is equal to C, so B1 equals C. And that's all you need to do for that. Now let's look at D2. And D2 they've said to us that alternate angles are equal and AB is parallel to DC. So let's have a look here. D2 is this one over here. And we know that alternate angles is the Z. The, the Z forms using the parallel sides. So if we form our Z, do you see there's our Z? So that would mean that D2 is equal to B2. And that gets you all the marks for this question. That's all from me, guys. Hope this helped. Hope this helped to revise some of the important parallel theorems in geometry. Remember to check out our website for more videos like this one. If you can't find the answer to your question, send us the question and we will respond with a personalized video. Also, before I go, a very special thank you to our sponsors for making this video possible. Read up more about them in the description below. Until the next time, guys, stay epic.